Hello, welcome to our broadcast. Yeah, I didn't have the opening scene on for those who love that. Here's the opening scene. Here's me. And everything's good, I hope. Yeah, it was a little bit of a, a bumpy, bumpy ride because just be, before I started the show, my uh, computer did some weird things, so I had to reboot. But I think it works fine now. So let's see what we can get going here. Yeah, a couple of five minute games in store. My rating is um, pretty high at the moment, so I hope I'm doing a good job here. I'm on 2501. So I hope it works fine. Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm, I don't really feel very sharp today, I have to say. Didn't have that much sleep last night. I simply uh, couldn't resist to watch the uh, the TV debate from from the U.S. between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. So I have uh, basically I basically lack like two hours of sleep, um, and I'm not going to answer any questions regarding that debate if you feel like uh, <laughs> asking me. Um, okay, I've got a challenge out, but nobody, uh, nobody uh, is, um, yeah, I'm not paired, it's a bit strange, it's uh, many, many uh, players on, it's really, and uh, wow, some very strong guys on as well, so I really hope I get, um, get a game soon, it's a bit strange. Game started. Okay, International Master Surfer Rosa. Let's see what Surfer Rosa is up to. EM Cory Obo. Okay. Surfer Rosa, that's from the Pixies, right? It's an album by the Pixies, I guess, if I'm not mistaken. So, what do we get? We get some sort of Grunfeld position. Following the game Karpov Kasparov 23rd match game from 1987. Um, play Olegas is the suggestion. I don't think he's on currently. Oh, you want to get into form after not having played for three years. Uh, oh, sorry, 1.5 years. Um, is there uh, something good that you can do? Um, yes, I think there is. Um, I think the most important thing is to get in shape um, for, um, yeah, get in shape in terms of calculation. So I would recommend to play, um, um, to, to um, yeah, not play like long games or something, but uh, see that you can uh, calculate well, yeah, get to do some tactical exercises, these kind of things. I think this would uh, very likely help you. Um, I am. I don't know. It depends also a little bit on your skill set. If you feel your openings are a little bit weak, uh, do something there. Um, I wouldn't really uh, worry all the, all that much. Make sure that you don't um, train too much. It's good to be prepared, but if you waste all your energy in the uh, time before the event, it also doesn't help, really not. So make sure that uh, you are actually fresh when it comes to the actual event. Yeah, I don't really like what I'm doing here, I have to say. <laughs> Yes, he got he's got a good Grunfeld here. Yeah. Maybe I should still take him. Yeah. Not happy about this, but it's the only continuation that makes some sense uh in connection to what I did earlier. Yeah, okay. I just got Queen C three, this is a problem. Ha! I forgot about that. Yeah, if I take on uh, b6, there's queen c3, which is a big issue. 
Yeah, and this is this just sucks. Okay. Yeah, improving your physical fitness is also very decent advice. Not sure how much uh, can, can be done in little time, but it's uh, it's not a bad thing yeah, to be in shape. Um, yeah, here I'm um, intending to play bishop e4. The real Grunfeld, what country does he play for? I mean, you mean the original Ernst Grunfeld? I think it was Ernst Grunfeld who invented the Grunfeld. Um, that should be Austria, I guess. Okay, um, I was thinking rook to b7. Let's do that. Get some activity. Yeah, but of course black is a lot better here. My position just sucked. <laughs> So I, I gave up a pawn. It's still a pretty bad position. Let's see what he's doing here. Is he, does he have something better than queen f6 is the question. Bishop f6. Huh. Is that really better? Hmm. Okay. Yes, yeah, he C3 hangs. Uh, it's a, that's a problem, of course. It still does. I definitely don't want to play rook to C1. I don't want to, but um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really see a good move. I don't know if this is a good idea actually, but I have to speed up. Yeah, I'm a bit down on time. Yeah, pure bishop ending, I would be rather uh, confident to, to hold, but with rooks on, this is not that great. So where to go? Probably just back. Rook b1 to b5 at least. But c3 is of course rather weakish. Mm, you will come around. Hmm. Should have gone there immediately. Time warning. Mm, nah, it's it's extremely bad, unfortunately. Stream down, really? That that would be good. It says frames down. I don't know. You have to tell me what what's going on. I cannot really do all that much. Oh, that was a bad game. That was a bad game. Check. Completely awful game. Hmm.
Yeah, and I keep getting this weird messages. Yeah, I had to I said I had some comp problems. I don't know what that was. Okay, I'm going to kick this. White game. resigns. Hmm. Uh, I really hate this. This kind of this is very irritating that it says frames dropped and stuff like that. What's going on here? Hmm, okay. Something's wrong. Okay, I can do something. I can do something. I've switched uh, the connection, yeah. I hope it, that it gets better now. Um, I don't know, I don't think restarting this help. I, I had a problem with my internet connection earlier. I hope that it would um, help if uh, I restart. I, I think it probably should be better now. I don't know what what's your what's your take is is it better now Yeah I switched to some other internet connection so I'm going to play a new game and if this is still um a problem if this is still a problem uh, I need to adjust Yeah that was a really crap game I really hated that game I know I didn't have any focus and I really played badly Yeah, D takes C5 was bad. I just didn't really think here. Yeah, Knight B3, of course, is the reply. But uh, I didn't really like my position earlier. Okay, so I've got a new request out. Unfortunately, this was the end of the 2500 rating. It takes a long time to get games, even though it's um, a huge crowd here. We have like, I think more than 30 players. Uh, why would I play some gambits? I, need, I want, I want uh, to, to be successful. I mean, I, I definitely would play, I mean, I play the Banco, of course, but this is not um, probably what you think about. The Queen's Gambit accepted. Yes, this is a, a, a good choice for an average club player. What resources approach would I suggest to learn strategy without memorizing too many lines? Um, yeah, the Queen's Gambit accepted. Hmm. There's a recent book by Del Chef, Del Chef and some other guy, which is a good way to start, I think. It's the most recent book, and I think it's quite decent. I don't know. I don't get it. Don't get games. That's weird. I have the request Game out. Started. Oh, now I got to get someone. Korov. Okay. A little bit lower rated. Yeah, from two thousand one hundred to two thousand two hundred feet of master strength. Um. I'm not sure if I have a general recommendation. It depends on what um, what your um, what your skill set is a little bit. I think um, on that level, there's a very wide range of strength weaknesses. So I cannot really tell for you, um, for you individually. Um, it's really. Um, I mean, if you really focus a lot on on opening, oops, on opening work. Um, yeah, maybe you need to be more versatile in your in your training. If the opening, however, is a big weakness and you tend to have uh, a rather bad position and you have to play uh, catch up every game, you should think about doing something uh, on the openings. It's really too general uh, a thing to 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 say. It's uh, every every player is a little bit different. I mean, for example, I have a relatively clear picture of. Uh, what I would need to do to improve, and it's a totally different thing than uh, what many other, maybe international masters or players of similar similar strength, would need to do. It's just uh, every every player is um, is different. So I wonder what this is. H six here. 
Hmm. It looks weird, but maybe it's actually not that bad for him. Yeah, okay, I'll take, I'm, I'm really unsure to be honest, if this is so good. Yeah, S and I drawing it, it helped. What I said helped. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't feel like very helpful to be honest. It it really didn't. I mean, yeah, I could take only six, but it, it didn't really didn't really do all that much. I mean, the way it is now, the way it is now, uh, at least he doesn't have an H pawn. Play a lot of tournaments, then it comes automatically. Um, I mean, it's it's not possible, I think, to improve um, a lot without playing at least a, a solid base of tournaments. But I know if you have to play a lot, it, uh, it it really depends again on your strength weaknesses profile. If you, if you take me, for example, I'd rather want to play a couple of really good tournaments that I feel are, are really, um, um, are really um, uh, worth playing than playing lots of them. Yeah, where, where I feel like uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting in some, in, some, in some dirt hole, in some godforsaken place where I don't want to be. Yeah, it's uh, it really depends on the experience that that you want. Okay, bishop to d6. Yeah, hmm, this is the thing, yeah. I don't really want him to take this. Really don't. Um yeah, the the question if you should work more on your weaknesses or try to improve your your strength is this is always a very tricky thing i think what you should do is you should try to identify your big weaknesses and try to at least g get to a point where you feel you're not seriously hampered by this yeah it's very difficult to make a, to to take a weakness and make a strength out of it yeah this is a, a very difficult thing to do but to um to at least make it okay is is kind of important um the, the next thing is if it comes to strength what you definitely want to do is you want to check your opening repertoire and see that your openings fit with your with your with your strength so if you are more of a strategist and you i don't know you value safety highly and so on then you maybe shouldn't play uh, the the biggest uh, or the sharpest opening around yeah or um if you want to um, you can you can also do it in the complete reverse thing yeah um and this is i think where opening is important that you adjust it to your to your strength and weaknesses and try to make sure that you're not losing like every game on a certain thing you know, like if you if you if if every if, if absolutely every loss is due to uh, I don't know, um, miscalculating in some line, then okay, it's a clear hint. Yeah, here I'm uh, just uh, pressing in this position, having the slightly better position and see what what here Korov is, is doing. Um, yeah, I mean, I can actually take on b5, it's not so bad. I can also bring the bishop over to f1. <laughs> uh, someone says here yeah, his biggest weakness is a play against one f4 yeah how often do you get one f4 on the board unfortunately you don't get it often otherwise you probably would improve a lot okay you put the knight on d6 this is a pretty decent way of defending this 
Let's see, how do I break through here? Knight over to c5, maybe. Couple of things that I can try. Um, pawn to a5, I think this is helpful in any case. Bishop f1 to d3. Okay, this is, this is a no-brainer. I will definitely take this. Resigned. Yeah, okay, got a win in here against Korov. It was a very nice position. Um, um, very nice position here against the Stonewall setup. Game started. Ah, now we get a new game quickly. Fighting Dragon. Yeah, I've forgotten who that is. Is that International Master Köpke? Isn't that Köpke? Christian Köpke. Yeah, that's a German uh, I am. So let's see what, what we get. Ah, the scotch. Check. This is not one of my stronger, stronger suits. Okay, bishop c4 is not so great, so this is helping a bit. Yeah, knight, F, uh, knight g4 is actually already quite a serious issue. And I also threaten d5 in this position. So knight g4, knight f3, knight takes f2. Isn't that working? Why isn't it working? Isn't that good? Knight f3, knight takes f2. Hmm. Let's see. Why does that... Is there some, some bishop f7 stuff? I don't think there is, so I'm taking this. Bishop f7, Check. maybe. Yeah, yeah, I was just thinking about it. But I can move the king. Um, Maybe I can even move it to... Uh, move it to d8. Wow. Yeah, the um, one e5 against f4 is, is pretty um, uh, unnecessary. So, this is uh, weird. Yeah, what happens here? If he moves the queen, he moves the queen there. Why? Okay, if I play knight e4, he goes knight d4. Probably. Um, knight g4. I probably have a draw, but... I mean, I don't want to, and knight h3, this is, this is completely, completely wrong. Hmm. Knight e4, he's got knight d4, unfortunately. That looks even, even uh, completely, completely off. Hmm. And it's probably not a draw. I mean, he can play for an Check. attack, maybe. Check. 
check. And you can take this now. And now play for an attack. Possible. Very much possible. I have one idea that I have is d5, cutting the bishop off, and then have bishop h3 as a threat. Whoa! On knight e4, he had this, yeah, yeah. Okay, d5. Maybe I should have thought a bit before I play this, but I don't know. Bishop, uh, bishop h4 here. Hmm. I threatened bishop h3. This is a funny, funny move. But he has bishop h4 here, and I think this is what he should do. <sighs> Queen e2? Crazy. Uh, there is no mate. No, no. I couldn't play knight takes e4. Hmm, bishop h4 looks somewhat necessary. Bishop h3 is a pretty big idea, I think. Whoa. What is he doing after that? Knight h4, maybe? Uh, maybe knight h4. Hmm. Okay, anyway. Yeah, knight, knight h4 looks looks forced. No, white is not winning here. That's pretty much out of the question. But uh, someone in the chat said white is winning. I don't think this is, this is this is the case, but it's a super murky position. Hard to really hard to say what's going on. Knight h4 probably. I'll take the bishop. I'm not quite sure what I do after that. But knight h4 looks forced. What does he find? No. Um, now, is there a way to immediately... I would love to get a rook on f8, really. But I don't see how. Okay, I'll take it. And now, queen takes, or does he take my bishop here? He takes with the queen, rook hangs, bishop still hangs. Cannot move the king. So let's move the rook. Bishop to d6. Threaten, threatening on h2. Time warning. Rook up. Check. Maybe it takes takes h8 rook g5 we win. That we win. Rook g1 bishop bishop c5. Yeah, I somehow uh, survived it. <laughs> it was tough. I really don't know what it was. Yeah, he's out of out of tricks, yeah. White 
resigned. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, I actually think that the the wide opening is is there are some problems with this. I just don't don't know exactly how it worked. Check. The engine gives king e7. I'm just quickly checking this. It seems that uh, that this Check. in fact is lost. Yeah, for at least this is the first evaluation by the engine. But. Um, yeah, bishop h4 is the engine move, and then rook e1, queen b5, uh -huh. and then just this and this. Oh my. Nah, it looks very dangerous. Yeah. Um, tough. It seems that here I have to go to e7 instead. But uh, okay, this is not exactly easy to figure out. Huh. Interesting. Anyway, I've got a new game request out and hope that I get um, I get a game soon. It's not really working that quickly at the moment. There are many, many uh, people in the pool. Play the classical Sicilian. I usually don't. Yeah, I, I tried it. I tried it. Uh, yeah, knight e4 didn't work at all. I think. Check. Yeah, it's just knight d4 and over. I didn't really see anything. Um, yeah, combat game started. And now we get a game. Yeah, I wanted to address what combat was saying. I should uh, show engine evaluation on the screen like uh, King's Russia does. And um, the thing uh, is, I I think it's a bit tricky actually. I I um, I don't mind doing that. The thing is, I cannot really um, do it so easily with this layout that I use that I use. Yeah, um, if you know my my current layout in the in the videos, it's a bit difficult to fit the engine evaluation in somewhere, um, and this is my my problem. I, I would need to redesign the whole thing, and uh, I don't really I don't really want to. Yeah, um, I, I rather want to do that in a. Um, yeah, when um, when maybe ISC is doing something with their layout. Mm, there's a question: Can I play a game as black with one b six? Yeah, one b six is only really okay against one c four. Against the rest, it's not not particularly great. So I don't really. I don't really like to do it against e4 or d4. The French Rubinstein should be okay, yes. Very solid opening. Okay, let me go with d5. Yeah, this is um, again one of those um, Italian games. Yeah, the Juco Piano. It has um, gained enormous popularity recently. Yeah, uh, I mean, and <laughs> what is White doing here? You want to bore me to death here? Queen to e4. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the thing is, it's a little bit difficult to um, not trade him. Mm, yeah, anyway. Do I think that the Grand Prix attack is a good opening for all levels? No, I don't think so. I don't really like the opening all that much. I think, um, I mean, it's, it's of course, it's a playable opening and you can definitely play it in Blitz and so on. But I don't really think it's such a great opening for, for tournament play if you cross a certain level. A chess student of mine, um, currently rated roughly 1700, 
has just decided to abandon this because it's uh, it's easy to prepare something um, good against him. Have I ever played Ginger GM? Yeah, that's uh, Simon Williams. Simon played uh, quite a bit on on the ICC, and uh, yeah, I think I should have a good score. I think at one point I had a hugely positive score. Not not sure how it is at the moment. He's a very very dangerous Check. attacking player. One of the danger most dangerous attacking players in the world, I think. And this is really from from all all levels. Yeah. Yeah, the problem with the, the Grand Prix is, of course, you only get equality, as uh, Sveshnikov, um, as you said, admitted in his book. But the problem is that um, often the positions are somewhat, um, yeah, you, you run strategic risk in this opening a little bit. And um, it's um, it's what I don't like. Yeah, it's uh, it just... Um, yeah, you're kind of starting with a strategic, um, yeah, a little bit of a strategic disadvantage in this opening. At least uh, uh, a little bit. Okay, so here we got an ending where I feel reasonably confident. The only thing that I just wonder is... Hmm, the B and D, uh, B and D's, uh, B five and D five yeah. square could be an issue here. Okay, I'm going to take control over those squares. Not ideal, but so we'll take control here. Yeah, I mean, um, playing a blitz match against Simon would be very cool, actually. It's just that um, I I had so many things on the on my plate. I really didn't uh, think about uh, stuff like that um, all that much. I, I would definitely play such a match. It would be a very very nice uh, I think for. Uh, both of our uh, YouTube channels, I think. Check. Yeah, I've recorded a couple of my games against them. You can search my channel. They're usually quite entertaining. I mean, Simon has a very entertaining style, so always playing uh, for, for the attack. And, uh, well, you know that I'm more of a... Um, a strategic player so it's a it's a clash of styles in a way yeah smooth this is an ending and my bishop should be better than your knight um, let's see Check. Um, now I played the reverse Grand Prix. The reverse Grand Prix is, uh, of course, it has um, similarly um, strategic problems, but there are some concrete ideas there. The tempo down is sometimes actually useful. Um, Yeah, I don't know. We, I would have to get in contact with Simon Williams first to discuss things like on what server to play. I don't think that this would be a, a huge deal. Um, okay. Here we go. I've got a queen. Check. Mu is really not willing to uh, give up. Probably a good thing. I still feel kind Check. of tired. Check. 
Yeah, this um, I have a, a big video series in the works for the ICC, which will feature mostly middle game Wait, but also designs. end game things. Um, so um, yeah, looking forward to that. I'm back on two five again. No, not yet, I think. Close. Well, actually, yeah, two five or four. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't have any of those non-alcoholic beers on me. I completely switched to uh, water. Yeah. Game started. I mean, okay, I will. I will drink the occasional non-alcoholic beer, but only if I'm like in a in a restaurant or something like that, or in in a beer garden. Yeah, but uh, not on stream or I don't have it at home because if I have it at home, I will invariably drink it quickly. So, <laughs> try to avoid that. So, Barzuk something. Haven't played this person ever. I play this uh, Neo Steinitz. I played this last week to beat um, to beat um, Dimitri Yakovenko two times. So, I will try this again. Kuvenko played, I think he played knight uh, bd2 here, um, or like rook, no, not, not here, rook e1 and knight bd2. Yeah, Barzuk is taking his time, that's good. h3, okay. <laughs> My repertoire on the Schlechter Slav. Yeah, maybe I should really do one, yeah. Yeah, that's a Dasher software, of course. Mm -hmm. I always use it. Yeah, what to do here? What to do here? Rook e8. Yeah, then d5 is a little bit more interesting. But white has the knight on d2, which is also not that brilliant. Let's see. I can take on d4, knight b4, c5, this kind of thing. Hmm. Okay, I have enough. Yeah, I could finish the uh, E5 repertoire series with the Ruined Italian. This is actually a thought, yeah? I was thinking about this. And um, it's, a, it's a thought. No, the Banco series is um, exclusive on that website where it is currently published. Hmm. I think here yeah, I'm going to go for that. Ah. So B5, something like that. Ah, no, 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 I, I never, I never uh, publish something that uh, that will include that uh, Rui Lopez line that I have abandoned that, yeah, in serious play, so don't worry. That's a good question here by P. Wutowski. Should you solve many uh, easier tactical problems or some uh, tougher ones. That's a very interesting question, and it's uh, it's this is a um, an interesting subject that is debated really quite a bit. Um, um, it depends, I think, a little bit on what you want to do. I feel um, if you feel that you are inaccurate um, with with complex positions. It could be an idea to really go for more complicated ones and try to do them. 
Um, but doing many simpler ones also has helped people to improve on the more complicated ones. So this is not a clear thing. I think, uh, to be perfectly honest, the important thing is to do it at all. It's the same thing um, with, with physical exercise. Yeah, you can discuss if it's better to, I don't know, to, to do swimming or, or uh, I don't know, uh, um, what, what, what can you do, yeah? jogging or, or, I don't know, weightlifting or whatever. Yeah? I think uh, the important thing is you have to do something in the first place. And uh, many people think for a very long time what they want to do. And uh, while doing that, they actually don't start doing something at all. And this is the main thing. You have to work on the calculation in some way. And it uh, doesn't really, I mean, it's, it's wrong to say it doesn't matter, but it's um, important to, to start with that in the first place. Okay, so what's going on here? He's put this knight into some sort of, tricky situation hmm I don't like to move this but if I do this 97 I can take b2 hmm I can go maybe knight g4 or something. <laughs> knight h5, I don't like. With hindsight. Hmm. But isn't this good? I just got knight c6. I totally forgot about that. Whoa. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's got knight c6. That's a bad miss. Queen f6 is knight g4, maybe. Mm. That's a big problem. He's probably going to kill me now. I totally forgot about knight c6. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Knight f4, he probably will play um, knight g4. Yeah, well, maybe I can take on, take on d5. That could work. It looks extremely shaky. And it's only got 30 something seconds. What the heck, knight h3 doesn't do the job. Check. I can go there, oh my god. can maybe take rook g1 yeah check it's a bit of a miracle i mean probably i'm losing anyway but at least i don't see a direct check. direct uh, made or something check. okay so we will probably lose on time here yeah? very lucky check time warning 
Check. 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 Mm. Check. Yeah. Yeah, okay, come on. Uh, oops. And night at five now, right? Check. Yeah, okay, our wind is on time. White forfeits on time. Yeah, I'm fighting for my all time. I uh, really don't 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 want uh, to give give away give away points. Um yeah, that was weird. Game started. Okay, let's see. Garpoon here. I really have a really bad score against this person. Minus three. I think he always plays the, the old Indian. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Ah, no, he actually goes to the King's Indian. Interesting. So let's see him. Uh, F5, F3, Bishop H6 is his idea, huh? Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I can go to F2. Doesn't really matter that much. Um, my high, my highest rating is two five thirty four, so it's still. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. Queen G five. Is the accelerated dragon playable on a high level? Yeah, well, playable for sure. Is it? Is it uh, fun to do? No. Okay, if I go f4 here, yeah, his queen has no squares. He takes with the pawn. I go h4, and that's it, right? I win the queen here. The position is still a slightly messy, maybe. F takes g3. Check. Yeah, I wonder if I should take it. Yeah, maybe it is an idea to not take it. Yeah, let's not take it. So... How to do this here? Yeah. Knight f3. This doesn't have many squares. Knight h5 is something maybe. Hmm. I know. I think this is okay. Yeah, it's still somewhat somewhat annoying. I mean, <laughs> I'm a queen up for a piece, but he's got three pawns. Wow, that's amazing.
Wow. Check. Oh, I totally did not see that move. Great. I absolutely didn't see Check. it. So what's happening now? It's a... Uh, what? I'm... Um, he's got stuff for the exchange yeah two pawns for the exchange <laughs> a great <laughs> oh my god how weird how weird now nah, it was crazy yeah? from this position Probably should have just checked him here, right? Probably should have just checked. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Yeah, I was slightly irritated. I mean, your opponent blunders the queen and it's still a game. This is kind of, kind of weird. rather decent control here but um, let's see here um, if he if he has to trade rooks I'm kind of happy here uh, rook h5 rook h1 now we will trade rooks knight g5 to e6 is something wow Didn't expect him to allow that. Yeah, C6. <laughs> I think everything's okay here. Yeah? Time warning. Not quite sure if I should take uh, b6 or not. I can play knight a8 and take the pawn. It still feels very slowish, but okay, probably it's correct. So, oh, my time. Absolutely no time. Check. This is not ideal. I'm perfectly aware of that. What? Check. 
check. Check. Check. Check. Check. I cannot promote now. Wow. Stupid. Oh, I'm such an idiot. What an idiot. Oh my God. Yeah, it was just, ah. Uh. Yeah, this is terrible. I mean, how bad can you play with black and still win, yeah? Blunder the queen first and then I spoil this winning ending. Ah, oh my God. Okay. I mean, we both played like complete patses this game. Game okay, started. let's do one more. LFM Fricky, who is that? Okay. Yeah, at the end I thought I would I would I would make a draw because I had no time on the clock. I didn't I mean I certainly could have won somehow, but I felt I just wanted to draw, but I totally uh, didn't see it correctly. Who is that person? I don't think, what's that? I can take this pawn. Yeah, this line is completely incorrect. But you still have to play it correctly. D takes, takes on C4. There's some wacky tactics. Check. I even had this on the board once in tournament chess. Some years ago. Check. Um, I think I'll go here. This feels reasonably correct. So like this and bishop e6 for an extra pawn. Yeah, it's fun maybe for the spectators, not so much for me gifting away uh, like 20 points after the way uh, considering the way the game unfolded is kind of kind of sad um okay so I can take here yeah it's difficult to win this position i mean um, how to do it maybe uh maybe rookie eight is interesting Knight takes, B takes, I get a very nice uh, bishop on d5. Mm. I can still go on d5. If he takes g7, rook g8, rook takes g2, looks pretty awful. So f6. Maybe f6. I don't know. Maybe I cannot win this. This is pretty much possible. Maybe it was a wrong idea yeah, to get into the <laughs> that triple pawn thing here. Yeah, probably you cannot win despite being a pawn up. Oh. Okay, wrong idea. Just not the right idea.
Oh yeah, I can still continue him. I wonder if I can, if I can go to B5. Yeah, it's still, it's still nothing. Okay, I'm I'm happy to do this actually. This gets some activity going for me. Check. Hmm. Okay, so at least I've got an A pawn here. This is something, something to to work with. Yeah, question is, do I have to cover this? Hmm. I think I will ultimately. It's what is important here, I think, is that I keep the pawn on C3. I don't think it's an easy win. I mean, might be, I'm not completely ruling this out, but Check. going to go over there hmm still not sure if this is ultimately netting anything I'm winning a pawn of course but not sure There's G5 business, maybe. Um, and there are sometimes funny ideas in those endings, so... So this is a passer. If I just go G5, I will have two passes. I think it should be enough. I mean, he cannot go around to a five and resigns. seven. Yeah, I think I think I should get to just a second passer here and win. I mean, it should be like h four and then have, then the f pawn does the trick. It it really should should do work. Okay, um, we are almost done here. Maybe one more game. What is this? One more game. I, I, let's go for one more game. Growing a mullet to intimidate your opponents. What is a mullet? I really, I really like this word. What is a mullet? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. Yeah, I go one more. Maybe I can get to 2500 again. Need to Google that, yeah, what a mullet is. 
also don't want to screw up the screen with me googling stuff. A moustache? No, really not. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a request Game out. Started. Demented monkey. So demented monkey. One thing I know is playing really fast. Really fast. A mullet, Vukuila. Okay, no, not a Vukuila, please. <laughs> Wow, you don't like your pawn structure, do you? Demented monkey. Okay. It's not that terrible, you know, because I have a hard time to, to attack the pawns currently. But it's something that long term should be um, an issue. Um, I just wonder how to do this. Okay, this this I'm threatening Bishop A five here. Uh, Bishop A five. Rook B one takes it. What's the deal? Hmm, okay. I mean, okay, it, it kind of improves the spawn structure. This is probably Carlson's drunk ICC account. <laughs> I don't think so. I really, I really don't see Carlson drinking. G4. What does he want to do with this? Let's get it here. And, uh, don't know. Okay, I will double against the b6 pawn. Try to tie him to that. Okay, so what happens here? Um, maybe just take her. Huh? Take and c5. Hmm. I can also play e3, it really should work. Yeah, so a4, a5, right? If I go h3, this will be a trade. I think I should trade. Hmm. E4 or not? Queen A2 is also good for A5. Okay. Let's 
let me think about this. I was just thinking this queen e2 and take it. Yeah, that looks okay. I have this check. Hmm. Check. So, queen d7. Is there some way to pick up that bloody rook? Look here. No, I've never witnessed a fight breaking out over a chess game, but it definitely has happened. Um, queen d7. Mm. Yes, queen d2 here at the end. This, this is kind of annoying me. So on a rook b2 is not such a good idea. Yeah, queen d2 is annoying. I think I just go back here and prevent that queen d2 business. I can always just take c6, take b6. And I mean, he cannot do all that much here with the, with the knight on h6. Yeah, it's okay. I think I will take c6 and b6. The rook on b6 helps to here to do something on the sixth rank. So rook b6 now. Check. Black resigns. Yeah, so I got to 2,500 uh, um, at the end, 2,502. So what is the what is the overall result of that session? So I lost the first one, which I played really badly. And against Garpun, it was a crazy game where I was a queen up. <laughs> but I won the rest, so that doesn't doesn't feel all that badly. Okay, guys, I hope you um, enjoyed the show with a little bit of a bonus time at the end. I think uh, it was uh, fun for the most part. <laughs> Didn't really like to lose that game, but anyway. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week, uh, Monday, same time. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a good week. Bye-bye.